Okay, YouTubers, this is old John. This is the second part of my uh, video series on wiring up my generator. Uh, I left off in part one, which you can click on the link here and go to if you want to see it, where I installed the interlock switch, which slides up and down. Right here, it's keeping the 30 amp breaker dedicated to the generator from turning on. In other words, going this way because this is in the way. And the 200 amp switch is on, so if, if I want to turn this on, I have to slide this up. Can't slide this up unless I get this out of the way. And when I shut the power off, this goes over to here, then this will slide up and exposing the 30 amp breaker, which then can be turned on. That's an interlock switch which keeps you from having your generator supply on at the same time and feeding the panel as you have the uh, 200 amp inlet service on. So it can't back feed out into the neighborhood and electrocute any linemen who are trying to get the power back on. Anyway, did all that and you can see that video if you're interested. Um, but I had to wire the, the uh, 30 amp breaker and I came out the bottom and I'm now installed conduit on my wire that's going to go over and out through the wall to the outside of the house. I'm going to install a receptacle on the outside of the house which I showed in the first video and you'll see here when I get to that part and then uh, Put a plug on the end of the generator cord which will plug into that and then the generator will feed into the panel. So I put this conduit in. It's about a uh, half inch to 9 16 inch schedule 40 um, conduit. <clears throat> Got these plates, these uh, elbows I guess you'd call them that um, allow you to pull the wire through because it's hard to go through these around these 90 degree angles and then these have a plate that goes over them In this case it's got a, uh, a seal so it's actually waterproof so if you wanted to put it outside you could but that goes on like that I have one that has to go on the bottom here And then this one that goes over here. If you recall, as I showed in detail in my first video, the previous owner had a dog and had a an outlet here with wires going through for a dog fence, electric fence. And um, he had just a piece of wood over it and the wires going through. I've taken that off and I put a box on. It makes a little dress here and then I will secure this up a little better and then the the dog wire fence fire dog fence wires will still come out and attach to the uh, dog uh, driving unit and I'll worry about that later. So uh, next I'm going to go outside and work on installing the outlet for the generator to plug into. Okay YouTubers, I'm on the outside of my house now. The beautiful day here in the low 50s. It's going to be only high of 13 tomorrow though, so may need this generator. You never know here in end of January. Here's my power coming into my back of my garage you see it comes in it's buried the power lines are buried out here this is my air conditioner <clears throat> and this is where I'm coming through with the generator my generator will sit right here I've got a nice uh, plastic fence enclosed area and I can mount the generator right here set it up my portable it's plenty far away from the house so it doesn't I don't have to worry about carbon monoxide but anyway so I've run the wires through and started the 
box, that, the back side of the box on the outlet. Here's the front side of the outlet, which goes on here. And then this lifts up and exposes the outlet, the male outlet. I've got to connect the got to connect the ground wire there. Took that off so I could get this lined up and installed first. So I've gone ahead and put in the first screw. I have vinyl siding, and so I'll be mounting this back. This has uh, this box has a lot of breakout holes, one on each side, and one on the back. I chose one on the back, there's one on the bottom also. So I'm mounting mine just so it lines up that I can get the top of this to go underneath the uh, siding so I think that's going to be good good place to uh, install it so I'm lining up here to mark the other two holes I'm using these uh, long wood screws actually they came off of the board that the previous owner used on the inside on his dog fence board cover. So I'm just going to put these in. They'll bite into the the uh, three quarter inch uh, plywood or press wood covering that's underneath this insulation and siding and hold it on. So I'm going to complete that next. Okay I've got the uh, screws in. Two at the bottom. One the top and the middle. Got to connect up the ground wire screw and then the wires to the back <clears throat> of the plug. And they're pretty self explanatory. Uh, white goes in the W and the hot wires go in the other two sides. And I don't think it matters which side goes where. But then obviously turn around and put it on and push the loose wire in. I'll have to trim this wire a little bit. It's too long probably. So I'll work on that next. Okay we're ready to put the remaining wire, the neutral here. I've already put the uh, the green, the ground already came installed. Put in the two hot wires on the X and Y markings. W is for the neutral W like in white. There's a screw on the side that opens this. So you just stick it down in there like so. And then tighten it up from the side. Now the neutral wire coming out of the house will go up here to the one side of the lug of this <coughs> grounding bracket and then the one off of the back of the plug itself will also go up there. And then we'll be ready to push it in and button it up. Then we secure the front plate to the back plate with this little screw down here. Tighten that on. And we have the cover on. And there's a nice note on the front that says important for power inlet only, not for use as an outlet. 
When used to power a structure, this inlet must be used in conjunction with a transfer switch. And in this case, we don't, we're not using a transfer switch. We don't need it. But this opens up. It's a Reliance a box. And there's your male plug that we're going to plug our female plug, which I'm going to now attach to the end of my generator cord, and we'll be ready. So here's the way it looks from the side. Set up pretty well. Um, pretty nice low profile. And I think we're ready to go.